For more than 12,000 years, domesticated dogs, descended from Ice Age wolves, have been helping humans in hunting and herding, as burden carriers, protectors and searchers, as well as just companions. A new skill has recently been found using the great smelling abilities of dogs to find archaeological remains of humans long buried in the ground. A non-profit organization built around the olfactory capability of dogs called Canine Forensics brought some dogs to the Santa Barbara Presidio to demonstrate their skills. Trained differently from disaster rescue dogs, these are HRD, Human Remains Detection Dogs, who search more slowly with their noses closer to the ground. Long buried and decomposed human burials infuse the soil with a different odor than recently dead bodies. The 220 million olfactory cells of dogs, compared to only 500 for humans, makes them able to find burials deeper than two meters and as old as 1500 years so far. They have been used to find lost and unmarked burials, delineate the boundaries of cemeteries, to search for the Donner Party graves, and to help find the Columbia shuttle remains. These canine forensics are used, together with other search methods, to locate unmarked Native American graves and other archaeological materials. The training takes years and patience, but the skill they exhibit puts another tool in the hands of those concerned with cultural resource management. We were asked to, the archaeologists knew, uh, our, we call him our archaeologist, who works with us, and as kind of a friend, do what he was doing, said, gee, would they come do a presentation for the Presidio? And we said, sure. And then it turned into, well, while you're there, We've been doing some work and they, they were looking for where the cemetery is and plus they know there's burials on the church floor. 